Yeah, I, um, I did Nausicaa. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's about a girl on a beach. Stella looked like a silent movie actress, only noisy and coloured in. Her face was smooth and pale, with cheeky freckles, capable. She looked like she could milk a cow, and when she was finished, the cow would be enough. No way to test that theory on the strand. Were there beach cows way back when? She'd seen donkeys on postcards. She supposed you could milk a donkey, I mean, you could technically milk anything with milk ducks. An any mammal, an antelope, a woman, but who'd drink it? Stella didn't say these things out loud. Made them in for babysitting, spent it on cigarettes and hair products. Healthy black Labradors were jealous of the sheen of Stella's hair. A patina of glow. She tear like the uniform seat from a child's picture book. Up, down and around it went. Up, down and around. Repeat is required. Stella minded babies on the beach. Three of them. Back in the day before the triple buggy, you would have needed fewer babies or more babysitters. The oldest baby sat in the back of the buggy, the youngest in the front, a bodyguard. It was a girl not that you could tell, side dressed and gender neutral. The baby in the middle's name was Simon. He had loads of sticky dirt in the webs of his fingers which made him hard to look at. Simon was doomed to be the filling in Stella's lucrative baby sandwich. A ridiculous name for a baby. He'd probably grow up to be the kind of kid who thanked his teachers at the end of classes. Stella didn't care. She'd never have to put up with Simon haltingly asking her to his doubts with a visible snot hanging out of his nostril. Linking and unblinking out to sea. The kind of blue the sky so rarely is. Framed by long, long lashes. Mascara optional. Stella loved mascara. Loved women's things. Powder to matten, blush to define, liner to exaggerate, balm to moisten, highlighter to brighten, shadow to colour, stick to paint and polish, tan to tan, and scent to hide the reek of human girl that clung to her skin. She rarely used concealer, didn't need it, skin like milk her granny said she had. Only bought it because it came in a gold tube and looked lovely in her big transparent makeup bag. Skin like milk's a weird thing to say. Milk is gobs of fat that swim in water. A suspension, not a solution. Also, she usually had a bit of tan on, and copper coloured milk is not for drinking. She didn't need those things, but oh, she loved them. Her see through bag, hot pink. She'd unzip the top part of folds, dig in, and have a go almost every day. School or no school. Her phone kept buzzing on the sand behind, beside her. A boy was texting. Boys were always texting Stella. Her ringtone was basically a soundtrack. The sea made noise. The baby said shut up. The phone was buzzing, Stella sitting down. Her friends were texting about the boy, the boy was texting about himself. She wasn't replying right away. She was weighing up her options, having a think and a smoke. Her mum used to tell her to give her thumbs a rest before she went away for a while and Stella moved to with Annie for T.Y. Stella's thumbs did not need to rest, but they took one anyway. She was thinking about the boy. The phone heard, holding hands. The boy had lovely hands, long, thick fingers. Hers felt small and slender when he grabbed them. Held them tight in his, but not too tight. He let her fingers breathe and it felt nice. Her friend had liked him first, this boy, but Stella had him now. Did she want him? There were other boys, but there was this one more. There was more of him than there was of other people. He took up space. He was a thing worth looking at, worth thinking of and staring out to see. He said things slowly, turned them over in his mouth before he let them touch her. She wanted to be more like that, to be careful with people. Sometimes when she was alone, she touched herself and imagined that he was watching. It wasn't weird or anything. She read in Cosmo that you should do that, to prepare yourself for the real thing. So you know what to do and don't look stupid. The youngest baby peeped white milk onto her like a stripy bit. The other one, the one who wasn't Simon, screamed a little. Almost time to go. She looked around. There was a boat that bobbed. There was a deck chair that was folded up. There was a curly standing on a bollard. There was a man who stared at her and went. That sort of thing happened to Stella a lot. In parks, on public transport. After a while, you have to see the funny side. Stella raised her phone towards him and she snapped. 
The babies were upset and they were crying. Facebook, album, bits and bobs, tagged, the Sandy Men figure. <laughs>